Now you might be looking at this timeline, you might be wondering why are all this messy or disorganized in this particular manner. I saw a new update that was created by Clipchamp and this involves a fascinating and almost say improved way of boosting your productivity when it comes to editing many or a few clips. I am going to show you the benefits and the downside of this with regards to what we have right over here and in here we have three images of course this was due to my editing from my videos on the planets and specifically looking at neptune nope uranus and this here is going to be focusing on how can i edit this particular three images all at the same time we have our first image right here at the left we have the other one at the right and the one that is right below it and one interesting takeaway is what if i'm about to edit the specific sound but here is the catch doing it all at the same time and here are things you've got to watch out for you've got to watch out things on the right side of the screen and see what are activated which we see here way based on clicking on the audio we see all this here activated however for the individual clips there are all these here that are activated so let's begin by selecting three images here which is this first image the second image here and the third image now the interesting thing here is that it doesn't really highlight on the screen itself what are the things that you're selecting however you got to look at it based on what we have right here in the timeline and so what we notice is that all these here are activated on the right side of your screen so what does that mean this means now that you can edit all three images at the same time which is wonderful to take advantage of when it comes to productivity and save your time when you feel like various images should have the same properties like for example video clips and other interesting stuff right there and so when you click on the right side we have either fade in fade out you can edit it to however that we want either we want the fade outs to come up later and we have a fade in to come in right at the beginning and then for filters we see all these filters that are activated when you click them or hover around them and it applies to all three images which is incredible stuff right here i think i kind of like this one in terms of winter and yes there we have it we can change the intensity to whatever that we want and voila here we have it this is fantastic stuff there are many more things to take away from it and all the things that you can play around with when it comes to filters in terms of effects you can also go in and see various interesting ways by which you can distort let's put it that way so the images and you can make one or let's say both as yes, for example if you want let's and you, you can also drag this around while holding it but let's just release this and let's say that we want to select these two images at the top and right side and let's move our mouse over here and let's make this to be blurry and that is how it looks like increase the intensity of the blurriness to something much more <laughs> you can see at all to something a little bit closer to something that you can see maybe this is how it has to do with whether you want to focus mainly on this image here to explain things in a smooth manner at that particular timeline so that is really wonderful to take advantage of when it comes to playing around with the images based on the effects next and final one here is when it comes to exposure temperature transparency blend mode you can play around with this based on which particular image or images that you want to be having the same result all at the same time so fantastic stuff in here when it comes to how clicking on many images or videos and editing it at the same time improves that productivity rather than clicking on one and then you're looking for that same result for the other image when you click on the next image it gets really really messy and some of your videos may not have that consistency as you want when you are doing it one at a time rather than doing it simultaneously so this is really wonderful and key here that Clipchamp was able to have this in their locker here and next one here is how about we put in 
sound and seeing what happens when we want to activate or we want to edit sound alongside images and so let's say we click on this image uh, control click control click control click yes that's what i should have said right at the beginning to activate it you have to hit control hold click that's what you have to do and that's how you're able to edit by moving on to the right side of the screen and doing it all at the same time so what we notice here is that when we do our control hold click including the audio alongside the images what we see are just the caption that is activated and we have a fade that is activated so fading and fade out in this case is going to be happening all at the same time for all four clips in there both the images and the audio and so that is the difference between when you just have your audio that is already highlighted which has that maintained to that of your images which all have the same results when you click them individually so wonderful to see the effect of such of this uh, of this particular feature here on clip champ and i hope you found this really informative please hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts about this is smart as always and believe in yourselves